this election, uh, we need to make sure that we're electing um, a president who cares, who cares for me about Indian country, for all of us about communities of color, uh, who cares that um, our public health system uh, needs to rise to the occasion when these issues happen. Congresswoman Deb Holland, thank you so much for joining me today. Congresswoman, you represent the first district in the state of New Mexico, and in 2014, you became the first Native American woman to be elected to a state party. Over the course of the past couple of months, you've made it your mission to use your seat to help Native communities, Native tribes battle COVID-19. Why do you think the rate of COVID-19 spread is so high in Indian country? Well, to start with, uh, let's think about how Indian country has been drastically underfunded and neglected for decades and decades. Uh, some communities don't have running water. Some don't have electricity. Many don't have broadband internet service. And I know that's an issue across rural America in the entire country. Here in New Mexico in the Southwest, it's happening in Indian country. We're 11% of the population and 40% of the COVID cases. And what needs to be happening with the healthcare system in, in Native communities? Is it funding? Is it uh, having doctors uh, in the community? Of course, funding is always going to help with this issue because people need things. They need protective equipment. They need tests. They need to get from point A to point B. Sometimes in Indian country, your hospital or clinic might be 80 miles away. So, um, so these are all challenges that would be made easier if the funding were there. The tribal leaders in these communities, they know their communities better than anyone else. And uh, they know how to spend the money. They know what their communities need. There are a lot of folks here who, who don't learn English as their first language. We're always working to make sure that we can get that message across to people of how dangerous this is. It's a difficult thing because Tribal communities, we do everything together. We're stronger together. We, we come together for celebration or for mourning or we're celebrating uh, somebody's academic achievements or anything like that. And so it's been a challenge to tell people this, to stay apart. Another issue is there are discrepancies around the country in how Native Americans are categorized in COVID-19 health data. In some states, uh, Native Americans are grouped as other. What challenges does that pose? When you just say other, 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 it, it could be anyone, right? It does a disservice to our, the knowledge that our public health officials are trying to gather in order to fight this pandemic properly. If you uh, say other, uh, you don't know what challenges those, those communities have. Indian country is, is challenged with other health disparities, right? High rates of diabetes and, and other issues. Yeah, and you've been working hard to ensure Native communities are counted during census. Absolutely. And how has COVID-19 changed your approach with that? A lot of times there's not broadband internet service, it's, and, and then who has computers, right? It's hard for folks to get online to answer their census. So Indian country relies um, a lot on um, in-person enumerators. Right now, we can't have in-person enumerators going from house to house in the middle of a pandemic. We need to get the message out. Every chance I get, I talk about the census, so thank you for raising it here. We have to be counted so that we can make sure we're getting the resources, even when there's not a pandemic, to Indian country for health care, for housing, for law enforcement. You were able to secure $8 billion from the federal government to help Indian country. You were trying to get $20 billion. We're hearing conversations about another stimulus package uh, that Congress is working on, potentially working on. What, what else do you think you'll be able to get um, from that stimulus package? Are you going to be able to get more funding? What's the play for you? We're always going to fight for more funding. That's just a given. For this next package, we're fighting for an emergency broadband bill. People need to be able to connect during this time. If you have broadband in, in rural communities like, it, like many in Indian country, 
then you can use telehealth to help people uh, know what they need to do. Uh, our children need access to school. They've been deprived of that education piece uh, since this pandemic started. So the emergency broadband piece is something that I think would be well used. We've needed it for a long time. There's an election happening in November. How does this crisis that we're in uh, affect how the Native community is going to vote? This election, we need to make sure that we're electing a president who cares, who cares for me about Indian country, for all of us about communities of color, who cares that our public health system needs to rise to the occasion when these issues happen. And so you can bet that I'm going to be out every single day, whether it's through Zoom or telephone or text. And by November, if we're able to, we'll absolutely ensure that we're going door to door to make sure that everybody gets out to vote. You can bet that I'm going to be uh, deep in this election uh, because I want to make sure that our country has a positive future to look forward to. What is one thing that you want our viewers to know about the Native community that they may not know? This was all Indian country at one time. Wherever you are in the United States and wherever you're sitting at this moment, that was Indian country at one time. I want everyone to always remember that without Indian country, there would be no United States of America and that the US government has a responsibility to live up to its trust obligations to tribes. Thank you so much, Congresswoman Holland, for joining us today. Really appreciate your insight and just educating us on what is happening uh, with the Native community, with Indian country. Truly appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you so much.